how can worm castings benefit the, the cannabis growers? Most growers have a recipe for their soil mixes. They have one recipe for starting their seedlings. They have another recipe for finishing their plants. In that mix, most of them include worm castings because every recipe that they've been associated with usually has worm castings. And many of the suppliers of the uh, organic materials stock worm castings that are very inexpensive. They want to buy whatever they can afford that's the cheapest on the market. They feel that worm castings are all the same. We try to feed our worms highly nutritious, high protein feedstocks. Along with that, keeping the worms in a controlled environment and harvesting the castings and keeping them properly stored makes a lot of difference in the quality of the castings when you get them as a grower. If you don't know the difference in worm castings, you have no reason to change. But if you take and use a different brand of worm castings and evaluate the difference in the plant, if there's a noticeable difference, you will change your supplier immediately. In the study that we did, all of the growers switched over to the worm castings that we were selling because they realized that those castings made a substantial difference in the quality of their marijuana and the taste, the flavor, it was enhanced, the effects, the colors and the, the uh, shape of the plants were more compact and bushy and the buds were larger. Now, when you say, you know, the, the buds are larger, I mean, is that size or is, is there more potency? Is there a higher concentration of active ingredients? They told us that the, the active ingredient of THC was higher. They measured a difference of more than 5% in the plants grown side by side. In other things, they said the flavors and I presume that they're referring to flavors just as a wine connoisseur would refer to, the flavors were enhanced and the effects were enhanced. 